that uh, on the stage right now we have Carlos, who represents from Boitis as well, and talking about kind of your, um, you know, your company's uh, development efforts and just pushing for renewable energy in the Philippines. Maybe just a recap on that. Sure, Daryl. Thank you. Um, so, Aboitis Power has about 1,300 megawatts of renewable energy in its generating portfolio today. It's about a third of its total portfolio. Um, in the past 10 years, we've uh, been able to develop new projects, about 300 megawatts of renewable energy in the hydro space, in the solar space, and the biomass space. Um, as you know, Mason was describing, the, uh, the sector has matured somewhat um, in the past uh, 15 to 20 years since uh, IPIRA was first passed. And I think uh, you know, our organization and many other private co- corporations like ours are, are, have been able to um, push the agenda forward for renewable energy and for energy in general um, in that context. Um, yeah, I think uh, looking ahead, you know, we, we see the market has um, reached a certain stage in its cycle. Um, we believe that uh, uh, going forward, as I think was mentioned in the last panel, uh, the supply situation is going to remain healthy for the next five to eight years. Um, and that will be great for uh, Filipino consumers, will be great for Philippine businesses. It means uh, prices will um, continue on the downward trend and perhaps stabilize um, thereafter. And, um, but for renewable energy um, as a sector, it will be uh, an interesting stage because it will be a post-feed-in tariff stage uh, in a competitive market. Um, and I think that will be, um, it will require the renewable energy industry to remain resilient, to adapt. Um, and, uh, you know, we're optimistic uh, that, you know, the, the industry will be able to do that. Mm-hmm. Thank you for that, Carlos. Um, maybe just taking a deep dive, I do know that you focus, uh, you know, primarily on the hydro unit side of Aboitis. Maybe what are some of the key factors that are necessary to allow a successful hydro product to, I guess, flourish in that aspect? Sure, sure. So we, we started our generating business actually in the hydro space in the 1980s um, and have since over the past uh, 30 years um, developed our organization around um, projects in the Luzon area and also in the Mindanao uh, region. Um, so I think key to the success for hydro business development or new projects is uh, one a recognition that the you know the major uh, focus and, and 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 challenge and and capabilities required for hydro development is in the area of social acceptability and of permitting. Um, Understanding the local communities in which you decide to operate in, understanding how to manage relationship uh, stakeholder relationships, has um, has been a key to our success in the in the past. I think, um, and moving forward, um, will remain that way. Um, every community is is different, has a different cultural setting, um, has a different power structure. Um, understanding that is, is is I think critical to success in developing hydro uh, electric power plants here in, in the Philippines.